Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and um, today I want to show you something I got really cool um, okay let me show you something I need to really make a video about the cameras I use when I record stuff now this is a camera I bought I think two years ago okay this is like a, like a GoPro kind of thing but it's not <laughs> It's like a GoPro imitation. Um, it's a very neat little camera, which I can't take the case out for some reason. Let me see if I can take it out. Oh my god, technical difficulties. Alright, finally, I finally got it off. Alright, this is just the case, so you can mount this on a tripod and then you got your little camera. Look how little it is. This is how little this camera is. Oops, I got it upside down. Alright, so if I'm gonna turn it off, it's on. Alright, has a little screen right there, and um, it's actually pretty cool. It's not a bad camera at all. I have used it with my when I did my commute a lot, and then and you can see most of those videos in my other channel. And then, like a few days ago, I did um, for the first time, I used a camera in a car, so I did two different videos one through the day and one through the night and I really want to make one when the Sun is out but the problem is that this past few weeks everything has been like raining raining and more raining okay if you haven't noticed by now I changed also my lighting in the room and um, instead of having warm light now you're gonna see everything more white I don't know if you're gonna like that or not I don't know I'm gonna have to see how the video comes out I don't know, before I look like a little bit very yellow and stuff and then I kind of start looking up about lighting, you know, to see what's the best thing I can do. Now I have to bring a light coming from the side though, because I got two lights on the top and two lights all the way up there somewhere. But I need something that comes from this angle or maybe this angle. We'll see. I'm waiting for another light that it's like a ring light that I'm gonna put in front of me that maybe that betters everything. I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyway, what I wanted to show you, I mean, I'm, I'm talking, 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 is that I got this new Sony, oops, Sony camera. This is a Sony HDR AS20. Sorry, I gotta read it because I can't memorize it. And then this is how big it is compared to my little baby tar camera. And the purpose of this camera is the same one like this. This is like a GoPro kind of thing, uh, but it's made with Sony. And it has a different kind of shape. It has a little screen where you can see what you're doing, then your record button, and of course the lens. I just tested it, and it's amazing. I mean, just like walking around, like if I want to vlog with this stuff, it's really, really cool. Now, the camera I'm recording is a Nikon J1. I never did an unboxing about this camera because the camera was an open box. Actually no, it was not an open box, it was a display. The majority of the cameras I have bought in the past have been open box. And let me tell you something, none of them never gave me a problem. This one was an open box and I got it today for $124, this run around is $160 I believe. So that was not bad. It has um, a few little problems. Um, it, it brings a case because you can go underwater with this camera. So it's actually pretty, pretty cool. And then you can put, you know, your camera here. And then you can close it up. And then you got your case and you can go underwater with this camera. So it's kind of really, really cool. And also when you're filming, at, you know, you can, it has a bunch of different accessories. So like the GoPro, so you can actually buy them and kind of put them around. I don't know if you're in a car or if you're doing any activity like bicycle or skateboarding or whatever, you can adapt that specific accessory to whatever you're doing. So it's kind of pretty, pretty neat little gadget right here compared to this one. This one brought in a bunch of stuff if you want to see the video of the unboxing this one I bought brand new but if you want to see the unboxing about this camera the BV tar DVR 785 HD I'm gonna put the link 
down there and then you can check it out, okay? I also use a Sony point and shoot camera. Let me go get it. So this is my Sony point and shoot camera. This is a long story. A long story I recorded it on video. You can also check it out on my other channel. I'm going to put the links down below. Um, it was kind of like a no-no from Sony. However, I just got another product from Sony. I'm a little bit scared about that. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, I was not too happy with what happened with this. But then again, it's long. So it's like three videos of story. The problem with this camera, I love it. It's very small as well. Well, not, not as small as my Vivitar. You see, look, look at the size. Look, compare. See, this thing, you can put it on a pocket. And you're going to go... Nobody noticed you have a little camera. Now this one uh, is just a regular Sony cyber shot. Uh, it still has the stickers as you can see. I, I really take care of it really, really well. But, and I take it everywhere with me. And that's how you have seen me when I vlog. When I make like vlogs. This is what I use the most. The problem with this is that if you can hear when I am recording. Sometimes you can hear the lens you know, zooming in and out, you go, you hear like this noise, like, and I hate the noise, I hate the noise, so I really, really don't like the noise, so, yeah, I don't know, actually, I went to the store to look to replace this camera for another point and shoot camera, but, um, since I've been wanting a GoPro, it's been a little bit crazy, you know, like, I am like, I want a GoPro, but then I found out that the cheapest GoPro has, um, it's not as cool as it, this one would be, because it has a bunch of things that this one has. The salesperson on the floor talked to me about this camera, they told me that um, you, I can actually, which H, I don't know why GoPro doesn't do that, but Sony came out with the device that you kind of buy separately, and you can actually put five cameras around let's say if you're in a car you put all these cameras around the car and then you have this like a like a watch it's sort of like a watch and then you can actually see all the display you can control all the cameras with that device right in your wrist so I don't know if you buy five of these you are gonna go crazy it has filming crazy crazy stuff now the quality man let me tell you, I just saw some footage I did with it and I was like, I, w I was very impressed. Very, very impressed. I'm going to have to try it out in the outdoors and see what happens, but very, very impressed. I might do a footage so you can check it out. So yeah, that's uh, the thing for today. Cameras, cameras, and more. Cameras! Thumbnail! <laughs> so, um, yeah. These are all my cameras. <laughs> so if you haven't added me yet, please do so. And if you really like this video, like this video, share it on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll see you soon. Bye.